2020 politics may be over, but the election season on NBC's The Mayor is just beginning. The comedy series follows a businessman running for mayor of LA and Vela Lavelle plays Michaela, the aspirational politician working on his team. Take a look. I never thought I'd be standing here, but my city needed me. He's charismatic, open-minded, independent. You're all in on this guy. I'm very open to the idea of a robot police force. Thank you for reminding me. R.P. Meskimen is pretty worked up about the coyote population. She thinks we should pay for their birth control. I've got your number, Bremer. You're not going to last two months. She's scary. And Vela Lavelle is here with me now. Vela, it's good to see you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> no, it is a pleasure to have you. Listen, I, this show could not have come at a better time because don't we all need an upbeat comedy? Yes, that's what I keep saying. I'm like, we have had a hard year and like we need to laugh very we much. Need to right laugh. Now. This is the show that's yeah. hopefully going to do it. Tell us about um, yeah. the show and about your character, Michaela. Yeah, so the show is um, Ted Danson, who is America's sweetheart. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Everyone loves him, um, is playing this retired businessman billionaire who decides to run for mayor of LA to like impress his teenage daughter. And um, he like unexpectedly wins and is the mayor of LA and kind of like has no idea what he's doing. Right. And the rest of us play like his staff. I play Michaela, who's his chief of staff. I would say like, I'm like the millennial perspective of kind of telling him like what he can't say, what he can say, you know, like, yeah. but, but also Michaela has, she's kind of more like an Instagram influencer background. So she has like no idea what she's doing, but is <laughs> trying to act like she knows what she's doing, but right. is like totally clueless. So it's just like a super fun, you know, it's Tina Fey, Robert Carlock, who did 30 Rock and yeah. Kimmy Schmidt. It's just like a joke every 30 seconds pretty much and like just an incredible cast of actors and Holly Hunter and Bobby Moynihan and it's yeah it's a I love all of them I mean I have loved Holly Hunter since like raising Arizona and yeah. broadcast news of course but I need a baby high they got more than they can handle remember that scene when she <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean she's a legend I, I gotta ask did the 2020 election um, help inform this character at all or or you know kind of what not to do or what to do yeah. you, know? you know what I think it it actually kind of I mean obviously we start Tina and Robert have been working on this for years yeah. and you know, no one saw 2020 coming obviously and we had started before the pandemic happened we got shut down um like everyone did so yeah. it's accidental but I do think it mirrors a lot of us that yeah. you know all of a sudden we've had this incredibly hard year and you can't help but be invested in politics and be like oh this affects me and I you know I can do something about it so I think that kind of weirdly mirrors Michaela's journey yeah even though it was a total accident um, yeah you know yeah. you mentioned Tina Fey um she's an exec producer and a writer yeah. on the show did you get to work with her at all it kind of helped develop this character yeah well you know they had been working on it for a while so the seeds of it were already there but um it's been like a dream to get to work with her and now actually in this you know pandemic world of shooting she and Robert are actually just on Zoom. They're not. Um, they're not with us on set. So we have Tina Fey's like beautiful face in a little <laughs> box on our computer that we kind of run up to between takes. Like, what are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Did you say that? <laughs> exactly. So it's bizarre, but I still feel lucky. You know, to get to Zoom with her. Um, yeah. That it's still like it, it's still kind of wild, and I'm like, what? I'm zooming with Tina Fey. Like, what's happening? Like, who am I? <laughs> Who am I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You also are the voice of Mermista on the Netflix um, animated series, She-Ra and the Princess of Power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, this is your first voiceover job, right? It, yes, it is. It was, I, I had no, I had no preparation at all of like what that world was. And yeah. I'm so proud of that show. I don't know if, if, if people don't know about it, it is incredible. It's like such a, inclusive um like girl power um incredibly um in important show i think for yeah. kids on netflix and it's awesome and i play a, a mermaid princess which is like wear sneakers yeah obviously <laughs> <laughs> so. I, love it. I also have to mention that uh, you know we couldn't help but notice the cats on your social media page <laughs> i know that you adopted um tequila i feel like especially during this time like the pandemic yeah. 
I think cats have a therapeutic quality to them. Did they help you during this time? Oh, so much. I mean, it's just like, yeah, it's always been important to me to adopt like, a, you know, like a, she was tequila is from the shelter and my other cat um, was found in New Jersey on the streets. So I'm, I'm very into like adopting the kind of ragtag. Yes. Cat. Yeah. Well, you've got so many great things coming up. Um, I can't wait to see Mr. Mayor. It premieres January 7th and it airs every Thursday night at 8 p.m. right here on NBC. Vela, thank you so much for taking the time and be well. Thank you for having me. You too, stay safe.